I'm James Fatsu with Web2.0.tv, and I'm here with Ashwin Naveen from BitTor. Uh, Ashwin, can you uh, talk a little bit about yourself and your company? Sure. Uh, well, my name is Ashwin Naveen. I started a company called BitTorrent. Um, I serve as sort of the business co-founder along with Bram Cohen, who is the technical co-founder. Uh, we started in 2004 to really uh, revolutionize the way distribution of content uh, takes place on the web. Uh, we've got a, a protocol which we think is the best protocol for delivering high-quality video or video games or large software packages over the web uh, by using the collective resources that live in the audience. The broadband connections that we all pay for allows us to make web distribution a lot more economical and a better experience. How prevalent is BitTorrent among the online community? And is there any particular target audience that you focus on more than others? Well, our genesis was in um, the open source software community uh, that had very large software packages that they wanted to move around the web very economically. Uh, we kind of branched out from there into sort of the trade-friendly music community. Uh, the Grateful Dead, Dave Matthews Band uh, uh, fans used BitTorrent to move around music in very high fidelity uh, again, very economically, because there wasn't a business model or a, a monetization method uh, that they were using at that time. Uh, and now we think we can take the merits of that experience and make a real commercial platform out of it so that anyone delivering video, whether it's a flash video site or a, um, a software package or video game package that needs to get delivered over the web, all of those um, applications can use BitTorrent to be much more effective economically uh, and then to deliver video and other applications faster um, with a better experience using BitTorrent. I'm familiar with how you know, uh, BitTorrent, among with friends, uh, how used it is and how useful. But I was curious about the actual business model. Um, what we have is a model that allows um, our customers to compare BitTorrent delivery versus traditional delivery from servers and CDNs. Uh, and it, uh, our pricing model is one that makes an apples to apples comparison against existing infrastructure. Um, so um, the problem with web video today, you know, when we go to use flash video sites that give us you know, instant gratification for video uh, in a streaming format, is that there's no business model which supports that application. Uh, we think that advertising ultimately will kick in to make web video uh, economical for the distributor. Um, but when you run the numbers, uh, web video, even with the best ad sales force selling at the best ad rates, uh, still doesn't break even because the cost of infrastructure is too high. Um, so when we uh, position BitTorrent to traditional infrastructure, typically um, people will see a 50 to 70 percent reduction in infrastructure, and we charge uh, a fraction of the cost of traditional infrastructure for our service. Can you talk to me about a little bit of, of uh, how the genesis of the idea of BitTorrent came about? Um, Bram Cohen, my co-founder, um, was obsessed with this problem that all web distributors had. Um, that we were all using HTTP, which stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol, uh, to deliver information from websites. And the information we were delivering uh, went from being text, as Hypertext Transfer Protocol's name suggests, to images, to audio, and now we know video as well. Uh, and we were still using this text transfer protocol for distributing these uh, very large files. Um, so in doing that, it was incurring a lot of costs for the distributor. Bram just thought... Um, to write a new protocol, one that would swap in and replace HTTP and make it designed and more suitable for file distribution using um, broadband connections. And that was the, uh, the, the genesis of the protocol uh, and is, continues to be what inspires what we do every day. The likely suspects for um, people that need BitTorrent are those that are trying to make um, a business work online uh, distributing large files. So we've targeted web video as one application um, that desperately needs BitTorrent today. Um, we've also looked at video games, and we think video games, particularly those that are massively multiplayer online games, big files that need to get distributed very efficiently and fast to many users, as being also a potentially interesting destination for BitTorrent in our service we call BitTorrent DNA. Uh, other applications like software packages and things that also have uh, very large files uh, and many users can be um, really effectively distributed with BitTorrent. Um, Users can also benefit. Uh, something near 170 million people have already installed the software that we distribute from BitTorrent.com and uTorrent.com. Uh, and that active user base is somewhere near 40 or 45 million every month. Um, what they enjoy and what they expect from BitTorrent is that the content they want gets there faster 
and, and with a better experience, and we'll always make sure that's the case. Well, we're in a challenging time uh, where you know the way people are engaging with content, uh, it, it certainly challenges traditional notions of copyright and the way copyright holders have managed uh, distribution of their content. Um, BitTorrent fundamentally made the web a lot more efficient, and as a result, um, people got access to content that they love uh, much more effectively. Um, that doesn't have to mean that they can uh, they can rely on pirate channels to get their content. If the existing distributors and publishers of content embraced the internet for all it's worth, um, they'd find that the internet offers them amazing opportunities to engage their audience with content that they've created to monetize that content in models that they're already familiar with. For example, the, the advertising model can work on the web. Uh, paid content models work on the web. Uh, and if they're, if they're really sort of focused on making the web successful as a distribution outlet, I think um, BitTorrent can be a key component of that strategy uh, for their business going forward. We've already announced relationships with somewhere near 60 media companies in the world. Uh, Warner Brothers, for example, Paramount, MTV, Lionsgate, MGM. Those are some of the more uh, notable of the, of the 60 um, that have chosen BitTorrent as a partner. And we think that roster of partners grows over time because BitTorrent's technology has fundamental merit to make the web more efficient. And with the uh, with Web 2.0 and mass personalization, what way is uh, BitTorrent involving itself, and what effect does it have on your business? Um, I think what Web 2.0 really stands for, and the, you know the folks that coined that term could probably uh, say this better than I can, but it's what it really means is that contributors, or sorry, users are contributing to applications in ways that make those applications better, and all of us as Aggregators of media or distributors of media need to figure out a way to harness the intelligence, the capacity, the creativity that lives in our audience uh, in order to make our business more successful. Uh, and there are so many examples of this. YouTube as an aggregator exists because of the contribution of its audience. MySpace exists because of the contribution of bands. Uh, Facebook by the contribution of um, students. And, and now it's become blossomed into something much larger. Um, BitTorrent similarly allows any media company to enjoy the contribution of its audience. When a web video uh, aggregator or a media company decides to use the web uh, to reach an audience, if they include BitTorrent as part of that offering, what they're basically saying is that they want to make videos higher quality, they want to make videos faster and a better experience for consumers, and they're willing to embrace the audience in order to do that. And fundamentally, that's what BitTorrent DNA was architected to do so that web video distributors and video game companies can be up and running in as quick as five minutes uh, and, and allow them to harness that collective capacity in the audience. Ashwin, it was great to have you. Um, and I'll let you get back to the rest of the conference. Uh, my name is James Foote, too. Uh, this is Web 2.0, and we'll be back with you in a minute.